All right, we are about to do a uh, 360 degree virtual tour of E28th Avenue in Broomfield here. Looks like kind of like a uh, fix and flip remodel from the pictures I was seeing online. And we're going to hop on in. When you first walk up, it's got cute curb appeal. Um, love the red front door and the numbers on the side there. Not a huge fan of the siding. It's a uh, nice neighborhood. You have actually some mountain views um, in the distance, Long's Peak. I'm um, kind of over the houses across the street. When you first walk in, um, we have some laminate and vinyl in the entryway. So it looks like they've done a mixture of plank vinyl with hardwoods. Coat closet here. To the right, we've got um, a formal living space. Hardwood floors are pretty decent condition. They don't look like they've been recently um, refinished or anything. Did the waterfall edges on the island here. And then nice open concept with the sink in the island. This is an interesting finish. It's like a, it's just wood. <laughs> it's just wood on the back of the island there. Kind of like how they've carried that red and white theme into the home. Uh, we have a fireplace there. They made this a dining room. Um, don't hate that idea at all. Um, stainless steel appliances it is uh, not gas, and you know, so most people prefer gas. Soft closed cabinets. This front bath, this is your spare bathroom, it looks like. Nice upgraded vanity. Plumbing fixtures are all really nice. Linen closet. They didn't upgrade any of the doors. They just painted them all. And it's a color you don't usually see. And it's pretty nice. <clears throat> it's a smart, inexpensive upgrade. 12 foot 1 to the window wall. 9 foot 11 wide. This is our other spare bedroom here. 12 foot 1 to the window wall, not surprising. And then 9 foot 11 across. So a little bit narrow, but not too bad. Here we have our master bedroom. The bed sitting so low makes the bedroom look a little smaller, I think, than it is. 12 foot 1 to the back of the bed. 9 foot 11 across. So not the biggest master ba bedroom for sure. Nice upgrades in this bathroom for sure. Wow, and we have two closets. Yeah, so it is nice to have a little bit of extra closet space in the master suite for sure. Looks like we have a newer fence. This house is behind you, kind of take away from some of the privacy. Um, it's not too bad, just really the one right behind you is the worst. Kind of like how they limited some of the uh, yard work by putting so much mulch down. A lot of newer fencing, if so, only on this side is not newer fencing. Oh, the carpet feels kind of cheap, not much padding to it. So here's our laundry. Nice laundry room, actually. This is good. Alright, so we do have a little bit of a hairline crack right here. Um, not overly concerning. Only thing that's kind of concerning is you can't see if it gets worse behind the drywall. Oh, I like this storage space. 
Oh, this is really great. That's your dryer vent hookup. Feels like that should be coming out of the house or out of the room. Sorry, that's kind of weird. Some pump or some pit. Sorry, not a pump. There is no pump there. So we have a bedroom down here. Does have a full egress window. Nice can lighting too. And my measurement ring. Oh, it might be dying. We'll see if it'll make it. 11 foot 9 to the egress window wall. 11 foot across. And another egress window. Kind of, this room's really odd shaped, so I'm kind of surprised I spent the money on that. I guess an appraiser will like it. 9 foot 5 inches wide, and then to the egress window wall. 12 foot 8. No closet bar in here. Alright, that concludes our tour. Thanks for taking the time to watch it.